What's up, guys? Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a uh, Advanced Warfare uh, gameplay. One second. Anyway, guys, I'm back. I just realized I was using the same gameplay I'd already used yesterday or two days ago or something like that. And uh, but today is a High School Stories episode 22. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about going back to visit my grade school for the first time. So. Um, if you guys didn't know, I graduated at, my, at Catholic schools in Philadelphia or outside of Philadelphia. You graduate from your, you have like a small ceremony in a, in a church. Um, you all get like these these uh, little things and it says like you graduated and it's got your class picture and stuff. And it's nice. Um, but it's, uh, it's like a nice ceremony, but it's not very a big deal um, I posted a video on my old channel uh, about it and it, it was kinda stupid like I got all like nostalgic I guess about a bunch of things that really weren't worth uh, anything um, but a lot of my stories are gonna come from there I'm gonna start talking about stories from grade school cuz I have tons of them in the two years I went to my uh, second school I literally made so many friends and had so many stories, um, and it's it's a lot of great stories. So, uh, anyway, I have some great memories at that school. And walking back around, I'm, I talked about some memories with some with my friends. Uh, it was my friend Phil, as you guys know, Six Shadows uh, is his name. Um, my friend Nina, and then my sister. My sister didn't go to the school, but um, Phil, Nina, and I did. So we were talking to a couple people, um, like like my my teacher whose nickname was Johnny O, Mrs. M, Mrs. D. We didn't really talk to Mrs. D, Mrs. C, uh, Mrs. P. I use letters just because I don't want to say their names because some of them have very uncommon names. Uh, Mrs. M, Mrs. Mick, I'll call her because there's another M. Um, so uh, Mrs. Mick was my homeroom teacher in eighth grade. She was my uh, history teacher. She was annoying, uh, but she was nice, really nice. She's really nice when you come back to visit. Uh, then Mrs. M, she she got up and she actually gave me a hug. Um, and my old pr my principal, the principal did too. Uh, and she both of them asked. We had really good conversations with them. It was really nice to see them. Um, and then. We went to Mrs. D. We said hi to her. She didn't give any of us hugs. Then Miss, my other Miss, Mrs. The other Mrs. D. The art teacher. She gave me a hug. I don't think she she gave all of us a hug anyway. I don't think she remembered me too well. Um, then Johnny O. Uh, he came out and shook our hands and was his awkward self. But it, it's funny though. Like he was awkward. My sister pointed that out. Um, when she first met him, but he's as awkward as he is. He's one of the best and the the best person people I know. He's probably the best person I know. He's very religious. Um, he goes to church every day. He runs thirteen miles every morning, um, and he's been through a lot in his life. He uh, he lost his mom. He actually found out when we were at school and continued to teach when he found out, and then. I mean, he had tears in his eyes, don't get me wrong, but he wasn't really, like, much different. He was crying a little bit, he, he was tearing up, because, believe it or not, the lesson we were learning was actually about families. So, he, every time he would say family, we would he was tearing up, which uh, was sad, I remember, but uh, it was really nice to see all my teachers. It was the first time I'd been back in, in two years. This happened, I don't know if I said it, but this happened today. Uh, I went back. Because Nina and Phil wanted me to um, go to the Christmas carols thing at my school. So it was really, really, I know I've said it a lot, but it, like I can't express enough how nice it was to see all the teachers. And them ex like saying nice things to me and saying how they missed me and how, uh, like wishing me good luck in the, fu in the future. I mean, I plan to go back more, but it's a lot better um, it's a lot better to look back at memories um, like 
a quote I found that I really live by is, uh, don't be sad for the moment, be happy that it happened, or something along those lines. Um, don't be sad that the fun's gone, or be happy that it happened, or something like that. And I've lived by that quote, um, and that's just because, if you think about it, I'm... I have so many memories, and as much as I say I miss eighth grade, I don't. I don't want to go back, because I wouldn't. I wouldn't change a, a thing about how my eighth grade year went. It was one of. It was one of the best school years of my life, to date. Uh, right now, my sophomore year is going pretty good though. Um, and you guys know I have a bunch of uh, stories from sophomore and uh, freshman and sophomore year. And I haven't really told a lot of my stories from 8th grade, but I have so much more stories from 8th grade and 7th grade than I do from sophomore and uh, uh, freshman and sophomore years. So it was really a great feeling of nostalgia that I had going back. But, uh, yeah, it really, really, uh, like, I, like I said, I can't express enough how nice it was just to see all the teachers that I really appreciated. Um... But yeah, so that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be down in the description below. As always, guys, it's been sick, crazy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.